Hey everyone, it is the CSS tutorial part three. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be running through uh, layouts using div. So we're gonna be making a header, a sidebar, and then the main content. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up Notepad, and we're gonna type in the default HTML tags. Uh, if you don't know what these are, uh, click the annotation on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen um, to go to some of my HTML tutorials. Okay, so we can type in the title, whatever you want in the title. I'm gonna add exclamation mark at the uh, at the end of it um, then we're gonna now we're gonna add the CSS we're gonna link this to a CSS external sheet so link rel equals style sheet href equals style dot CSS now we're gonna close the head and we're gonna open the body and then immediately we're gonna close the uh, body because we're gonna put stuff in it later and then we're gonna close the HTML press file save as we're gonna save it to the desktop I'm going to save it as index.html, remember it's got to be .html, uh, files, uh, and then press save. And now the, uh, the document has appeared. So now it's time to go and open up a new notepad document. So uh, in this notepad document, we're going to do the body tag. This is going to be our CSS one. And uh, inside the body, we want our font family to be Century Gothic. And uh, if Century Gothic's not available, we'll use Arial. Um, then we also want a background color. So our background colour is going to be a very light grey, which is six uh, Cs, which is a very light grey. Um, and then we want our margin to be uh, zero and auto, which means basically put it in the centre with no padding at the top. Text align, we want centre, and then we're going to close the body tag. File, save as, we're going to save it in the same place to the desktop as style.css, because if you look at this, it's style.css. So it's linked to the same document. Press save and it appears in the desktop. Um, so in our style sheet, again, we are now going to create content. Um, so in the content, all we want to do is uh, put a margin of uh, 20px auto, zero, auto. And basically that's 20 pixels at the top, nothing on the left, uh, nothing on the left and right hand side, and uh, nothing at the bottom either. Nothing at the left or the right, and nothing at the bottom either. We're gonna file, save, um, and we're, we're gonna now add text align, Ooh, text align, uh, center, uh, and then we're gonna close the content. Press file, save again, um, and in the body we're now gonna add some content. So div class equals content, uh, and close the div, press file, save. And if we open up the index, you should just see a blank a black blank screen with a grey background and we've got no real content yet um, so we're going to go back and um, we're going to create a new div uh, a new div class div class header and we're going to close div now we want this to be inside the content so we're going to put the uh, we're going to close the div there so the header is inside the content div press file save um, and then we're going to go back to our CSS and we're going to create the header uh, the custom header um, tag in div, a custom div class. So we're going to do header, um, and then inside it we're going to do width. We're going to do a width of 910 pixels, 910 pixels. Background color, we're going to do a uh, a light, a fairly light grey, um, but obviously not as light as the whole background color. And then we want to do a border of one pixel solid, and we're going to do a slightly darker grey, so 666, 666. And we can actually change it to dashed instead of solid, just to add a bit of style there. Um, but obviously, feel free to play around with however you want to do it. Close the header, um, and then actually we're going to add font size equals 60 pixels because obviously it's a header, so we want a big pixel size. Um, then we we want color, uh, which is a really dark grey, almost a black. And inside the header now we can add some text. So we're going to do Eds Johnson YouTube. Um, YouTube. And there we go. File, save, and if we press refresh, you can see it's now appeared, but it hasn't appeared in the center. Now we're going to centrally align this header, um, this 960 pixel width header. To do this, um, obviously we can see its contents there, um, but obviously uh, we want to centrally align the header too. So margin, zero, auto. Uh, file, save, press refresh, and it's now gone into the center. Uh, perfect. That's working really nicely. Um, it's now time to add uh, some more stuff, some, some more content. So we're gonna add uh, 
still inside the content tag, we're going to add a new class and we're going to do a sidebar. We're going to close that now and uh, inside the sidebar we're going to add and Rackwo um, home and you'll see what Rackwo does and then a line break and and Rackwo um, about and these are just our pages that we're going to have on the sidebar and then and Rackwo and then contact um, and you'll see what the and Rackwo is. We're going to press file, save and uh, now we're going to create the sidebar tag, uh, the sidebar div in the CSS. Um, and we're going to do a width for this sidebar as 300 pixels. We want it to float to the left um, and then we want text align equals left as well. And we can also add some padding. So padding here we're going to do 10 pixels um, and basically that means that everything inside, so the left hand side, the right hand side, the top and the bottom are going to be uh, have 10 pixels of padding. Then we're going to copy in the background colors and the borders from the last one, change it to 18 pixels for the font size, and now we can close it. So file, save on the sidebar, press refresh, and as you can see it's gone right to the side. Now the reason for this is because the content that we created earlier um, up here hasn't got what we needed, so we're actually going to add 910 pixels in the content. That means it's only going to be a width of 960. Press refresh again and now you can see it's moved to the centre just beneath it. We want to add a bit of space now though um, in between the header and the sidebar. So to do this we're going to go to the sidebar and we're going to uh, add a margin uh, at the top of 10 pixels. Press file, save, press refresh and now you can see it's shifted down so there's a 10 pixel gap in the top. Now it's time to add the, uh, the content obviously. So we're going to do div class equals uh, main and uh, file save and we're going to go back to the CSS and we're going to create the main CSS now so we'll just shift that there we go right main we're going to type in um, and then we're going to do a width for the main one of uh, 600 pixels now the reason for this is because 600 and 900 and uh, 300 is 900 and remember the whole width we made is uh, 910 because 910 because we wanted a 10 pixel padding in between the two. So we want to do, uh, we're going to do margin left um, equals 10 pixels. So if you think 600 and 300 is 900 and then add 10, that's a whole uh, 910. We're going to copy in the uh, background and the border, the font size and the color again. We're going to quickly change the, uh, the font size to 22 though. Um, and then we can close it and then press file, save, and we're going to add some content. So welcome to line breaks, so brbr. -BR. This is the content. File uh, save for this as well, press refresh. Now as you can see it's shifted uh, a bit below. Now the issue with this is because um, what we forgot to do was in the, if we go up to the sidebar, you see there's 10 pixels of padding. So we're going to change this to uh, width of, you can see the padding has 10 pixels, which means there's 10 pixels on either side. So we're going to do the width of 280. So 280 and 210 padding, uh, there we go, it's, it's shifted the right way, but obviously we want this up at the top. Now the reason it hasn't gone straight to the top is um, because we've got a margin left. We can get rid of the margin left and it'll automatically make a margin. So refresh, and as you can see, now there's no 10 pixel padding at the top. So we're going to add this in the main styling now. So we're going to do margin, top, and we're going to do 10 pixels. File, save, go back and refresh, and as you can see, it's now working perfectly. So this is the start of some a really cool looking uh, laid out uh, professional website. Thanks for watching guys, next week I'll be working with CSS menu bars. Please don't forget to rate, comment, favourite, and of course subscribe for more videos soon. Bye for now.